Hello, welcome. Welcome to the fifth live stream in this particular series. Um, I am streaming from a new location. You can probably tell from the background being different. So if we run into any sort of technical issues, just bear with me. We'll get it sorted. But welcome. Glad you are here. In today's live stream, the plan is to, uh, instead of working through a lab together, I'm actually going to give you a lab to work through yourself. It's a bit of a challenge lab. The idea is to see how well you can navigate your way through a layer two environment. So this is the first packet tracer lab that I'm releasing to the world, uh, and I'm doing it here in this live stream. Glad you're here to uh, take part. I guess actually we'll get right into it. So let me share my screen and uh, cool. So to access the lab, go to my blog, practicalnetworking.net. Uh, the first post at the moment is this guy right here, Packet Tracer Labs. If you click on that, you will get this page. Scroll in a bit. Uh, this is this last this section in here is showing you the uh, the last oops the last four labs that we did together. Uh, you're welcome to look at those if you want uh, to see us work through some labs together. Otherwise, the challenge labs are down here, and this is the uh, this is the one that we're going to work through today. So this is the Layer Two Challenge Lab. Um, to see how well you can navigate your way through a layer two uh, network. So if you scroll down in here, you can download the file right here. That'll open up a zip file. Uh, this zip file contains just a, a text note right here that tells you that you should be using Packet Tracer 8.0 or higher. And then the actual Packet Tracer lab looks like this. So what I'll be doing for the next few minutes is essentially giving you a run through of what you'll be uh, what you are challenged to do in this particular lab, kind of talk you through the requirements, the limitations, and then uh, turn you loose. Uh, I will then pop over to my Discord where I'll actually do the walkthrough for this particular lab. Uh, the idea there is I don't want to give away the answer in this particular live stream just yet. I want you to actually work through it yourself. In any case, this is what the lab looks like. So the lab itself is a very large uh, convoluted layer two network. Notice all the different switches in here. Uh, you're not really meant to fully see what is connected to what. Uh, that's sort of meant to be somewhat obfuscated with, within just the complications of the network. You've got 10 PCs over here on the right. Uh, and the lab task is that essentially your IDS or your coworker or someone else told you that certain MAC addresses are, say, sending out malicious traffic. And your job as the network admin is to figure out where those people are and then shut down their switch port and only their switch port. Often in the networking world, this is the situation you are in where, excuse me, you won't have access to the actual PC computers. All you have access to is the network that you control. If you think about it, these PCs, these clients connecting to your network, that's that's someone's laptop, that's someone's desktop, that's someone's you know phone, that's someone's uh, smart appliance, whatever. And you can't always just log into their device to take a look at what's going on. Well, in this lab, you're not meant to simply log into the PCs to see what MAC addresses are where so you can shut them down. All you have access to is the switches themselves, just like you would in a real networking environment. So the lab task, let me actually zoom in over here. So over here, you've got your instructions. Uh, to start the lab, uh, you simply have to either wait a few minutes or use Packet Tracer's fast forward time option. That's down in here. It lets kind of Packet Tracer scoot scoot forward, I think, 30 in 30 second increments. The idea there is we want all the uh, spanning tree um, implications of this layer two network to sort of sort themselves out. So the first thing that you should do is simply hit fast forward a bunch to jump, jump forward in time. And you can actually see down in here the... Uh, the time jump forward every time I click this button. You only have to do this for a few minutes, but uh, I'm sort of overdoing it now just to show you. Then from PC0, you'll open up the command prompt. PC0 is right over here. I will jump on PC0, jump on to the command prompt, scroll back up to instructions. And what you're gonna do from PC0 is shoot a ping with a dash T argument to the 10.9.9.255 address. That is the targeted broadcast address of the 10.9.9 network, which happens to be the network that all the uh, all the PCs are getting an IP address from. Now they're getting an IP address from a DHCP server, so their IP addresses might change. So you may not see this exact same uh, IP address responses from every single one of your PCs, 
but you should see 11 different responses. And if we count that out, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Cool. So we have a response from all the things we are expecting to have a response from. Uh, and you're meant to do this with the dash t argument. That's what's going to make it continuous. The purpose of this is we want traffic flowing through this network so that all the MAC address tables are populated because you're going to be using the MAC address tables to navigate your way through this topology. Once that's going, you can actually just minimize that and leave that going in the background. Uh, again, the idea there is to keep all the MAC addresses populated. Then just below, you have your actual lab tasks. And essentially, your lab tasks, let me scroll up to here. Uh, your lab tasks are that you have been informed that these three MAC addresses are acting maliciously. And it's going to be your job to navigate your way through the environment to find where these hosts are plugged into. Um, so the instructions say to start at switch zero, which is the first switch in our topology. And I'll zoom, zoom back out in the topology in a second. Uh, and then from switch zero, you're going to use show MAC address table. Find one of the MAC addresses that's, you know, sending out malicious traffic. For instance, this looks to be one of them right here, 3D1B. I'm looking at the last four right here. Uh, and then figure out what is connected to switch zeros FA01. Now, you shouldn't just disable FA01 because if you look at the topology, you'll see that the switch, uh, all three links out of the switch are connected to other switches, which are connected to many other switches, which are connected to many other switches, which uh, are then connected to many other hosts. So while you could disable FA01, A, you're probably cutting access to a lot of other people from your network, and B, it's very possible because of redu redundancy that your malicious host will still have access to you know, whatever it is that it's trying to you know, send malicious traffic to. So you shouldn't just disable it the first time you see it. You should disable the port uh, so that only the bad host is shut down from your network and no other good hosts are affected. So keep that in mind. Uh, now, just below that, there are some restrictions. Wow. Uh, the restrictions are you shouldn't access PC1 through PC10. Now, nothing will stop you from it. You can just you know jump on PC10 and take a look at the MAC address the, the long way, if you will. But the idea of this challenge is to simulate something you would see in a real networking environment. So don't just jump onto the PCs, figure out which, which one has the MAC address and you know turn it off from a PC perspective. You gotta do this from the switch perspective. Um, also try and do this deterministically, right? There's, I think, uh, what, 20 different switches in this particular environment? 13, 14 or so maybe. Uh, don't just log into these switches randomly. Start with switch zero, figure out where you have to go next, then log into one of these switches, figure out where you have to go next, then log into the next next set of switches, figure out where you have to go next, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the purpose is to do this deterministically so that you know exactly where you are going. Now, if you want a walkthrough of how this goes, I will end up recording a walkthrough and I'll leave it as an unlisted video in uh, a link in the description. Uh, feel free to check that out right below the like button, hint, hint. Uh, and also you can leave a comment asking questions or letting me know whether you enjoyed this or not. Otherwise, that is actually all I had for this particular live stream. Make sure I'm not missing anything in the chat. Looks like no. The plan is to now run through this walkthrough live on my Discord server. So now that you have access to the lab, uh, I'll actually go ahead and go back to... Wow, sorry about that, folks. OBS just crashed on me. So quick interruption. It looks like we're back. Audio is good. Don't know what happened there with OBS, but we are we are back. In any case, uh, so that's a run through of what you're supposed to do in the lab. Again, to access it, go to practicalnetworking.net. It's the last it's the last blog post I made um, entitled I think Packet Tracer Labs or something like that. Uh, if not, I'll put a list a link in the description to where you can download the lab. Uh, I'm about to work through the lab uh, myself on a live stream in my Discord. You can access the link uh, by going to my Discord server. Oops, pointing the wrong way. Discord server, the link should be right here to your right. Uh, go ahead and jump in, say hello. In the voice and video channel, I'll do a live stream where I'm walking through uh, the solution to this lab if you're interested. 
Otherwise, that's really all I had for you today. The purpose of this particular live stream was just to present this lab to you. And again, you can access it over at my blog. Uh, and I'll again, throw a link in the description. I will mention if any of you guys are studying for the CCNA, you can uh, access the, uh, a lot of the CCNA, or rather all the CCNA content that I've ever put together. Uh, the link is down here. Let's see if I'm pointing at the right, I am pointing the right direction. You can get to it at pracnet.net slash CCNA. Uh, it's a, it's a, all my videos, all my articles that cover CCNA related topics uh, in hopefully if I've achieved my goal in the absolute best and simplest way of explaining uh, somewhat complex com uh, content. Uh, so give that a shot. I guess that's it. So look, nice, nothing, no questions are popping up in the chat. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna jump on the Discord and I'll be on the Discord for the next 30 minutes or so uh, running through the lab on a stream. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this lab. If you want to see more content like this, definitely let, mention something in the comments. Uh, otherwise, enjoy your day, and we'll uh, catch you guys on the next live stream. Thank you for joining, and we'll uh, see you guys later.